This is a 1980 CJ7. I swapped a 5.2 liter from a Grand Cherokee and an AX15 5 speed from a Dodge Dakota. It's the same transmission used in the Wrangler and Cherokee. As well as this fits, it actually fits a lot better in a Jeep YJ. The YJ has a wider frame. I used a Speedway 26 inch crossflow radiator, Dodge Dakota uh, upper and lower radiator hoses. Passenger side exhaust manifold is stock from the Cherokee. Driver's side is from a Durango. To Here you can see the factory Cherokee fuse block that's used. Directly under it is the ECU. You have to use a truck or a van ECU. The other ones have the security system on them. You can't use it. hard to see here but there's not a lot of room on the CJ for the exhaust to get down. The YJ there's a ton of room. On the CJ you have to do some clearancing on the bell housing at least with stock ride height to clear the front drive shaft. It's pretty close the drive shaft is really small which helps. A stock Dana 300 with a, an adapter plate bought off of eBay. Dodge starter, either Dakota or pickup. Slave cylinder is a 95 YJ. It's hard to see here, but you can see how tight the exhaust is right there. It comes underneath from the other side, underneath the transmission, and then loops up, singles out. There's enough room to do a dual if you wanted to. Got a fuel filter here. Right there, uh, it's from a YJ fuel pumps, uh, Walbro 255 electric. Uh, I got lucky with this on the drive shafts. Neither one of them needed to be changed. Uh, the motor was just slid back uh, about three quarters of an inch from the stock location. Shifters from a Dodge Dakota. You just have to straighten out the bend down at the bottom. The uh, transfer case shifter, I had to add a little bit of extra bend to get it away. Clutch pedal, stock CJ7. Um, master cylinder, stock CJ7. This was an auto-equipped car, so we did have to, or Jeep, so we had to swap the pedal assembly.